The ghostly traces of Edo could well be the inspiration for the city of the future. Built in the 16th century, Edo was the first ecological city. At that time, the great shogun, Togugawa, decided to create a city from scratch. The warlords, the daimyo, had to live there with their families for part of the year in order to control the territory. They would create more than a thousand beautiful homes with parks and gardens. To win their loyalty, the shogun gave them both gardeners and landscapers. The old Japanese cities, Edo is a good example, weren't like Paris. Edo was an open land with Edo Castle in the center surrounded by the daimyo with the properties and gardens. All the open spaces were used for farmland. Irrigation canals were built for rice cultivation. The city had a plentiful water supply in many green spaces. There were two million people living there. They even used human excrement as fertilizer for their crops. A truly natural cycle. Around the mountains, nature was very wild, and where the people lived, it was tamed. Man had established a subtle and varied relationship with nature. During the Edo period, what we now call biodiversity was everywhere. In the city of Edo, there were wild foxes, wild boars. Animals and birds had enough natural areas to live in large numbers. During the Edo period, people had a lot of pets. Dogs, of course, but some of them had elephants, giraffes, camels or orangutans. It was during the Edo period that the Japanese sensitivity to nature was born, and it gave rise to the first urban culture founded on nature. In addition to large gardens, they created sacred places in the city to observe animals and plants, as well as learned societies that shared their knowledge of plants. Horticulture became a true cult. This was when the rites of nature and the yearly celebrations so alive today in Tokyo first took shape. In 1868, Edo ceased to exist. It took a new name, Tokyo. It was the beginning of the Meiji period, an opening up to modernity and the outside world. By 1920, Tokyo had sprawled beyond the borders of the former Edo. The golden age of parks and gardens was over and many would be destroyed. <laughs> 